Hey everybody, how y'all doing? Are you a-okay? In your neck of the woods? What up? What up? Manners and respect, man. I your girl, Debbie from Donga Yard. Welcome you all to the Jamaican kitchen. Welcome once more. It is the Jamaican cooking journey. All of you when you ride on over here, special welcome. Those of you who were there with me from the beginning of the journey and you're still here with me, manners and respect. Now today's video is, we're just gonna be sharing a cucumber, a straight cucumber juice. The time at, this is the perfect time for your cucumber drink. I would say a juice, and you know the most time you know is when you use your juice extractor and extract the natural juice, but we can still call it a little cucumber, you know, refreshing, whatever drink or let's call it a cucumber cooler. Now I've got a cucumber mint cooler prior earlier on really early up when I started um, YouTube it is with mint so I'm gonna leave the, the link in the description you can go check it out because that would have a different taste from this because with that mint and with the cucumber if it's uh, blended together it was really good but this is a straight cucumber so for this now you're gonna be needing some cucumbers I like this type as opposed to the straight green ones I like these okay you can use the straight green skin ones use whatever you like I'm gonna be needing some ginger I'm gonna be needing some limes but let me tell you something about the lime them lime yeah, them really um, have drought upon them you know these are what I have there from my tree okay so when you see a finding lime them with the drought upon them I peeled them so when you peel the skin peel it and make sure you get off most of the white so you have some mostly little juice part right here. So come on girl, shoot them up, let them see it. Try to get off a lot of the white while you're peeling it. Don't leave a lot on it. And then now, we're going to cut these limes open and you're going to remove the seeds. Okay? When the seeds have been removed, what you're going to do? You're going to chop up the lime them and put them in the blender. Make them blend with the cucumber and the ginger. And if you're doing any other fruit juice, you can do just the same. Don't blend it with the seeds. It's, it will get bitter. The seeds are bitter, but you tell me, peel it, make most, make sure most of the white part under the, the rind is off, and then you remove the seeds. When you see them jolt, it's a way you can get them with no juice, and you blend it together with whatever you're blending, and you tell me if you not get the same line it is. What you know about that, okay? Now, we're gonna be use something to sweeten our juice. So I have here, I had it at a time, not long, um, one cup of white granulated sugar and also I have one cup of water. So you're going to just put it on the heat and you're going to be stirring it around. We're going to be making a simple syrup as a sweetener. So you want to leave it on the heat and you want to watch it. You don't want to stay away from it. You want to constantly stir it around, stir it around until you have all this sugar dissolving in this water okay so we're gonna leave that do not let it come to a boil to start boiling and dry out just let it stay on the low there or a little you know probably this the highest on mine is um six and i'm at two so you just constantly stir until all the sugar is dissolved in just a slow you know clockwise motion and you'll end up with a simple syrup for sweetener now what I want to do first, I want to chop my ginger. Okay, and let me tell you something, um, family. I know some of you love me like that and will tell me. Can you say where I can get one of these jugs, the blender jug, or whatever you call it online? This one is broken, so when I start to blend, it's just it just starts um, leaking. It, it is um, leaking right here. Somewhere on the ear. Dad tried to do something, but it, it now, you know, we're full on. So this is okay, this is fine. Yes, a fire, which is the motor, but here right on the ear got broken and it just a leak out whatever I'm doing. So if you know of anywhere where I can get one, any I don't know. Somebody had told me once that I could have gotten a pressure cooker rubber, but I had gotten one already. So please in the comment section and thank you if you can tell me where I could get to get one online. I would be grateful. Just the job that is really like seriously a leak here right now. So I think this would be enough. Cause we want it chase and ginger, you know. We want the ginger and the limey taste. Let us look back at our simple syrup. 
It don't even have to come to a boil. You just want to get the sugar to dissolve, okay? So once our simple syrup is being dissolved right there, I'm going to be putting my ginger into my blender, my leaking blender jug, so to speak, okay? And I'm going to be putting a little water, and I'm going to go on the unit, and I'm going to chop it. So come. Okay, now family, simple syrup is finished, and I've removed it to another burner for it to be cool. You're shooting them up camera, girl. You want it to cool down a bit, eh? Look at me here now, chopped ginger. The ginger is more chewy than the um, cucumbers. So, let me make sure I chop them first. Limes in, make sure you remove all your seeds. The seeds are always under this little part here. So you make sure you lift it up and you get out all the seeds. Remember, this is a tip for you. When you get the lime, them wedge out out. Because sometimes them really dead and come to perfection, but due to the weather, them just jout out. So you just peel it. Make sure all most of the white come off it with the rind and then you just cut up your line and you're in with it, okay? All right. Now, we are gonna cut um, some of our cucumbers. So, you cut them any way you want. Cut them, must say cucumber, a, a pure water, you know, so you're not for eating, no worries. For cut them, no, no. you just chunk them because remember, it's pure water, it's soft. This is not a problem. This can stress out the blender, see? So, look here now, we are going Break a little, chop up some water with cucumber and come back. See? Okay, now cucumber's in. We're gonna pour our water. And we're not gonna pour more than that because we use three cucumbers and all of that. So we are gonna be putting this. I I don't know how long mine can blend for, but you need to do it for about two to three minutes. Leave it, start blending it, and then you leave it on puree. Cause we want this thing for come, you know? Decent. Okay, so I've stopped the blending process to say something. Whilst this is being pureed for about two to three minutes, depending on how powerful your blender. If you have one of them powerful blender, one and a half to two minutes. But you have the pop down blender them in three minutes. You understand? Well, so it go. So you're gonna need a strainer, and you're gonna need another um, container, and you're also gonna need a cheesecloth. So look here. Me I go go and panka panka around the blender your half camera, and when we return, we should be. In, in process the strain out this thing here. come. Okay, so our blending process is through. So you just want to go ahead and to remove some of this excess um, froth here. Because, hello, you want this thing to be strong. You don't want this because normally I would do my juice and leave it to chill. But with this cucumber, it's best to serve it over cracked ice, not cubed ice. Cracked or crushed ice. Better tasting. You try it. So we are trying to see if we can move some of these fraud. So now we want to do a little straining. So hold your hand up eye. Hold your hand up eye. Okay? And you'll use your spoon or a spatula, whatever you like, to move this around. Okay? So we're gonna be moving around and we're gonna be moving around and moving around and all of that. Now, after we have done this moving around and strain out, whilst we do all of this, these little arm um, thing in this strainer is not enough to let us not to have the, you know, the fiber in there. If you want some fiber, then you can just omit the cheesecloth. But if you want to get it all smooth, you can use your cheesecloth. So normally when it reaches down to this part, people would do like this. And when you start doing like this, it would come right through here and some drop in here. So we are going to be moving around and moving around at this point. And when we finish, we are going to come back, show you. So we are going to put it through the cheese cloth. Can look here. We don't want no pop down juice around here. So we'll come back. Eh? So I am back and this is my cheese cloth. So what you're going to do, you're going to put it over reasonable, reasonable. And then you're going to use all these that we are doing. Hands must be perfectly clean, okay? So, you're just gonna pour, hold your hand up, make sure that you don't leave too short of a part hanging out because the, 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 the weight of the juice will just pull it right in. You get to be just pull it up. So, you hold your hand high and let that go down in a pouring. And leave it as soon as it recedes 
you pour some more until I get all light done. So when I light done, we're gonna come back and we're gonna put everything, we're gonna sweet everything. And we're gonna, aye, we're gonna drink some now. What's gonna come? Okay, we are back and we are gonna pull our, um, our, come on the camera girl, shoot them up on this. We're gonna pull out our cheesecloth. Okay, so if you want some of this, you can probably take out back a little because you might want a little fiber for those who want the fiber. Okay, you pull out your cheesecloth and you know if I got clean. Now this is some strong, strong cucumber juice. So, I am going to go now and I'm going to put in some, some crackers. And the ice will dilute the strength of the cucumber juice. So ice in, simple syrup on, and you have the option right here to put the amount of syrup or sweetener that you need. Then we are going to pour in our cucumber juice. Then you got a straw, then you're going to do your little mixing. You want to do a little twiddling. And you can put in some cucumber slices, probably just two. Okay, and there you have it. Your perfect, perfect homemade cucumber juice. No, no, look on long water. From my kitchen to yours. From my Jamaican kitchen to your family table. To your Father's Day table, most of all. To your palate and to your stomach. It is your homemade cucumber juice. Please do enjoy. Maybe your glass is a little bit too full. Don't do like what me do. If you have liked this video, remember to give it a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed to the Jamaican cooking journey. When you're subscribed, Make sure you hit the notification bell. That is how you'll be notified. Thank you so much for your love. Thank you most, so much for your support. And I promised to drink some, but I haven't got enough ice and all of that. So now that I've given this to you, I think I can just probably go have some. I'm soon come back. Let me get a thumbnail and come back. So we are back. So we went and got a little garnish to catch with thumbnail. And of course, I've got to drink some. Well, could take a little more ice. It's a little bit too sweet for me right now. So you could go a little less on your simple syrup. That is why I do it like this. Because you have the option to put the amount of sweetness you want when it's individually mixed, okay? And all of that. But the, the lime, the ginger, and everything. And the cucumber is as strong as ever. This is so good. Yes. No, I've mixed it and the ice. Wow, this. When you try, let me know in the comments below. Debbie from Donga Yard, bless. No stress.